right, so I'm back with another uh, informative video for you. Not a demo this time, but information. So here's my like tips for how to start blowing glass. If you don't know what the fuck to do, this is what I did. But here's tips for how to start blowing glass. The question that I get a lot, like a ton, more than anything probably, and it's how do I start blowing glass? Like, do I need the work can I take lessons at? Like, do, can I be your apprentice? Which, first of all, no, you cannot be my apprentice. I'm only four years in. To be an apprentice for someone, you should be very like, deep into the game. But anyways, so they ask for like, where can I take lessons? Where can I apprentice at? And really like, uh, what should I do to even like start? And my answer for the first thing, the do I need, do you need lessons to start already off or anything like that? Or you need uh, an apprentice? No, you don't. Those things will help you out tremendously. I had no lessons at all, and I had no like teachers or anything. I've blown glass at like a, a studio, like maybe three times. With not, oh, that helps you out tremendously, but you don't need to have that in your repertoire or whatever to make like, to become a successful or even like a good glass blower. So if you want to start blowing glass, what you want to do is get your ass a torch. I have a video linking all that stuff. That's uh, hopefully I post it up somewhere. But that's a video like what you need to start blowing glass. As if, as like equipment wise, but this I'm more telling you how to start blowing glass and like get good at it without a teacher or no lessons or anything because I didn't have that. That's the my side of the story. I can tell you. I can't tell you how much lessons and all that shit help you out because I'm sure it shoots you off. Like saves, I'm sure it saves you all kinds of time because just watching someone blow glass and them explaining it to you in person is way it's so much helpful. I can't even explain it. But you don't have to have that to be good at blowing glass because I make all my bongs and no one ever really showed me how to do it. I kind of just repetitions doing. Over over and over and knowing I want to make a recycle. Now in the beginning, as soon as you buy a torch, I'll go to that video reference for what you need to start blowing glass. So say you got all this shit. You bought all the torch, you bought your kiln, you got a bench set up, you fucking set, you're ready, you're like, ah, it's like a bomb. Woo! No, 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 not yet. Alright, so in the beginning, you're gonna be doing Maria's. If you don't know what a Maria is, it's a perfect example of what you want to do in the beginning is practice. Oh, come on. All right, you see that little disc shape? That's a Maria. And you get that from getting the glass hot right in the center, and you press, and it gets that disc. So in the beginning, you're gonna wanna practice your Marias, just like I, looks like I did. I do this every once in a while. This is like warm up. Because Marias are the base of everything. Like everything, if you have a good Maria, you can do in combos, you can control the glass well, because you're, I don't know, Marias are the base for everything. So you're practicing Marias, then you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna play with a lot, a lot of colors. So get like, a, get a big bundle of like, uh, certain companies like Mountain Glass sell so like beginner Kits, so you can get a bundle of um, like a crazy assortment of colors. I think it's like 20, I don't know, it's a shit ton of different colors. Get that in the beginning, so figure out what you like, what everything is like, why, how shit's different, what flame, different flame chemistries, like certain colors work in. That's really, I don't know, that's fun. Just do that, figure out what you like to do, and then just see how like stuff works in different flames. And then because you don't have any teachers, because this video, you, I don't know how many tips for how to get a fucking teacher, you're gonna do a lot of, you're gonna do a lot of YouTube, a lot of YouTubing. Go to, here's the ones I learned too, let me think. All right, these are the ones I learned from. Um, Revere Glass, go to their videos first to stop and just do all their videos of the shit. Uh, Corny Museum, if you don't know a Corny Museum, like they're like a big glass art, art institute place, they're fucking crazy. Go to their page, watch all their videos, their demos. And then Torch Talk, they are uh, like a YouTube, they have a YouTube thing too, they have a really good one. The Mike Mason dude who runs it, they're the shit. And their Facebook group, if you ever have any questions, like anything at all, go on their Facebook and you can ask anything, like, like ventilation or is this tool, what does this tool do, or how do you get this... There's any, any question, you go on Torch Talk, that's shit. Alright, so that's the beginning. This is like the mid middle part of your just beginning with glass. Alright, so now you're three months in. So you can do, you got nice Maria's, you probably fucked around with hollow a little bit. And now you're gonna learn how to make pipe. So get your hollow glass, you're no longer solid, because hollow is much, much harder to work than a uh, solid. But like, it just, um, it's harder to work. So you're gonna start working hollow a lot more. But try to make a pipe. I made, like, less than 50 pipes in my life, because I just went for the goal, and I just started making bongs right away, which I don't, I don't think you should do, because you're gonna make a lot of jam ass ones before if you just make a nice like pipe game get your pipe game strong and then move into like your rigs you're gonna make like a really oh you have a really nice rig so how much hours you put in it's like the dumb term i always tell myself the hours give you powers put in a shit ton of hours and you'll get good anyway start working with hollow you're gonna make pipes now start doing wig wags the line tubing so work with your wig wags start sculpting shit like i think a pumpkin like a little snowman a pikachu like made a turtle one time like start sculpting start playing with things you might figure out you love it and also it's just fun to do and you get you learn 
shit. Like you learn how the, I don't know, just put in, put in your work, put in your hours, get your powers, and just explore stuff. And in that medium to beginning range, you're gonna realize like, man, my stuff looks really janky. <laughs> but uh, like, don't get discouraged. It's really hard to emulate what you wanna do in like your brain to glass. It's extremely hard, so don't be discouraged if you have a lot of janky stuff. I have a basket full of jank. And also, when you see an artist with a bunch of janky rig, don't make fun of them right away because they don't fucking, they don't want that janky rig. <laughs> they just, what they can do to their best ability, but in their brain, they want something better. But don't be discouraged if you can't make what you're thinking right away. All right, so now you're six months in. You made pipes. You kind of know how to work with hollow. You're like, ooh, I know what to do. I got balls now. I'm gonna make a bomb. You can, you can. You're probably six months in. Some people say make, like, wait longer, but fuck that. You're gonna make a bong six months in, because that's around what the time I did it. So you're gonna practice your shaping. The best shape, like the funnest beginning shape to do is that. Have you seen this bong before? The bell shape. I don't know why, but this is really pleasing to me in the beginning, that nice bell shape. So I practice that a lot, how they get shapes. There's a Micah Evan demo on Corning Museum, the, what, their YouTube, and he explains, like, all, he has like a big page of all these shapes that he practices and then he's a fucking crazy artist so just do that practice shape really focus on your symmetry because now you are kind of worked on your jankiness like you're like oh no you should be worked on your jankiness by now a little bit don't worry because you're still doing new shit but make sure everything's like symmetrical and just really work on aesthetics and no more jank do your encomos which is glass the glass or your color the color see how that's pink green and that those are in combos work on those those are fun work on your oh shit. Right. work on your ring seals that's the down stem area this part this little part you're gonna put a ring seal put the down stem in there you want to work on those make sure those are looking pretty and mine uh, i honestly don't even i think mine still need a lot of work so everything always needs tightening up so work on that your ring seals collab more because i'm sure you wanted to collab in the beginning but now start collabing with people or kind of around your area or like range of goodness and also not your collabing doing all these things you tried sculpting making bonds uh, find, like, think of what your path is that you want in glass. Like, some people go recycler route, some people go, like, the milli route. You can just be a pipe guy, you can be a cap guy. Find what you like to do, but also don't just be that one lane guy. That's fucking, you don't want to be that person who's just making the same thing over and over and over. Maybe you do, I don't know. For me, I don't like that. Find your route and just kill it, man. Mix up variety so you don't get bored. And also, uh, everyone, this is like a, just a little disclaimer <laughs> for you. In the beginning, like, if you see someone killing it right away, everyone gets better at different rates. Like, I've seen people who are making the same crazy shit I'm like making right now. Not crazy, but like the same stuff I'm making right now. And they're only like six months in, which is, which is crazy because when I was six months, I couldn't make anything. And also there's people who can't make a recycler and they're like five plus years in the game. I don't know. It's not a race. It's a marathon type situation. You just want to keep going at your own pace. Put your horse blinders on. Just keep making your own glass. But find out your path, what you want to like do in the glass world. That's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. I know it's a short video, but I wanted to put something out for you guys. Go watch my video on what you need to blow glass now that you know how to start and you don't need lessons or anything and maybe i'll catch you with a demo next time peace out guys please like and subscribe comment you know the dealio peace